Well, eSky has come out with their own flight simulator. And eSky is the manufacturers of this honeybee, and you've seen my videos on that, and you know that this is a great flying helicopter. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and see what we can get for $19 as far as flight simulators go. So I'm running Windows Vista. The transmitter that came with this FMS simulator would not work directly out of the USB port. Uh, what did make it work was plugging it into an extension block. And here it is right here, you can see it. And that has hardware in it that makes it work. So thanks to a tip from one of my viewers, I have been able to locate and download this missing file that shows up when I try to run the FMS simulator. It's a D3DRM.DLL. What I did was I went to DLLDump.com, downloaded it totally free, moved it into the Windows System 32 folder, and bingo, FMS runs. FMS right there, let's click on that, open the program. And here we're opening with the PITS uh, airplane and uh, let's go up and take a look at some of the things. When you click on file you can have an option to change your graphics card. If you go to model here's what happens. You click on load. You've got a window that opens up that shows the different kinds of airplanes. We have a glider. We have a Hughes. We have a Pitts. We have an SU-26. Uh, a 3D helicopter and the uh, transportation airplane. So you pick what you want. I'm going to go ahead and fly the pits to start with and you click open and that brings you to the pits. You can also go up to landscape the words and click on that and load this and changes over here to uh, islands or uh, another set of islands. You've got winter scenes here, winter slope uh, and world and I'm just going to leave it on world and this is the real world. So let's go ahead and say OK to that and leave that alone. And up here again you can click on view and zoom in or out. Auto zoom is the best for flying and uh, the fixed camera is best for flying RC. You can go to the chase camera and click it and this puts you behind the airplane. But if you're really going to fly uh, model airplanes you need to have that chase camera off and you're standing definitely on the ground. You can also go up to simulation and change the thermal options, the wind options, uh, adding wind. Uh, you can work on your sound, the resolution, which is a different size. I usually run mine in the window. The graphics, uh, you can have the fog turned on, and your controls. Now this is important because you have to click analog control. A window opens up. Make sure you click on joystick interface. You can see this by clicking research choices, and you can see that the transmitter moves accordingly with the sticks. Say OK there and if you want to map it to your transmitter you pick the channel over here for example this is number five that's the throttle and you go over on this side and number five you have to put that in to where it says throttle and in my case the throttle was backwards so I have to put a check here for inversion. Okay it says rudder elevate aileron throttle for airplanes on the top then it says tail then it says Nick. Nick is the same as forward pitch, forward and back pitch. So number four, which is uh, the same as elevator, goes in there. Okay, and you can calibrate your transmitter by clicking calibrate. So let's go ahead and see how this one does.
dog unrealistic. I like that. Okay, this is a uh, good helicopter for learning on, for you folks that are trying to learn helicopter. This gives you a good chance to figure out the controls, learn them explicitly, and uh, it flies very nice, actually. So let's take this for a little flight. This is a pretty stable helicopter. Gives you a uh, good sense of feel to practice your nose in hovering. And uh, it has a good, good uh, amount of control, too, but gives you a chance to learn what the helicopter looks like and how to work the tail, the fore and aft cyclic, left and right cyclic. And let's take it a quick run around and see how it flies. Oh, that's sweet. That is sweet. This is an excellent tool for learning to fly the helicopter, folks. Okay. Okay, the 3D helicopter has already got throttle hold locked on, so there's no switch. So when I pull down on the throttle, it sucks down, and when up is up. So it's uh, it's got good good feel to it actually. Uh, good tail rotor. All right, let's see how good. Ho, 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 ho.